So with that, I give you Nat Natarajan. Thank you, Alex. Good morning, everybody. How are you all day? Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah? I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah, okay, awesome. So look, I'm, I'm the chief overhead officer of this company. Okay? Uh, so I, I get a lot of time to think about innovation, right, with the teams. So I'm here to talk about the journey that I've seen, at least in my career. Um, so let's, let's start with, you know, what's happening in the world today. Things are happening at a much quicker clip than, than it's ever happened before. Used to be, you know, 20 years back when I, I mean, when I was at Travelocity.com, for us to create a service would take years, right? We sort of develop a service, it would take a lot of time. We didn't have, you know, Java, uh, I mean, Tomcat did not exist, so we had to create a web container in those days. It would take a year, year and a half. On top of that, we would figure out how we put lipstick on top of that pig. We'd figure out how to do the front end experience, and that would take a matter of six months or something like that. That was 20 years back. Today, it happens in a matter of days. Innovation is happening in a matter of days today, right? And you can see companies in the valley, companies across the world, creating new capabilities for consumers in a matter of days. And it's happening on the basis of infrastructure and technology which has been developed over the last 20, 25 years, right? This is reality. The uh, rate of change in technology is um, shrinking, right? The rate of change of new innovation is shrinking at a much more rapid pace than we thought possible. A few examples of this, right? The mobile industry is a fascinating case study of this. We have companies out here which are billion dollar companies which were started, got to a billion dollars in, in two or three years, and in a matter of years, they're nowhere today. They're bankrupt, they're being bought, they've been sold, and it's all on the basis of changing technology in the world. The rapid change of technology is causing major disruption in the marketplace, and tools and capabilities that we need to iterate for our consumers needs to actually accelerate. So that's why I'm really excited about doing something around uh, the open source community, figuring out how we improve collaboration, not only within companies, but outside companies. Here's a quote from, um, from the CEO of uh, Nokia, and I'll, and I'll read it out for you guys. We are standing on a burning platform, and we must decide how we are going to change our behavior. We poured gasoline on our own burning platform. We've had a series of misses. We haven't been delivering innovation fast enough. We're not collaborating. Ten years back, I mean, Nokia was the biggest cell phone company in the world. Today, it's not. I'll give you another example, right? Uh, when I was at PayPal, we saw a small company in those days called Zynga uh, start a product. The fastest billion dollar revenue in history. Today, they're struggling because the shift happened from a Facebook platform to a mobile platform I mean for gaming. So they're figuring out how to come back. So all this is happening because of technology. And if we do not find ways to collaborate inside and, and outside companies fast enough, we'll be left behind. That's the message. So um, world is changing, consumer expectations are changing, and we gotta figure out how we iterate quickly. I'll give you one example of where we used open source you know, within, within my career. So when I was at PayPal, uh, I leaned into something called OpenStack. Are you guys familiar with OpenStack? So it's an automation platform for the back end. And within a matter of six months, we were able to have a significant portion of our traffic go through OpenStack, complete automation, easy for an engineer to go and ask for services. And it didn't happen because we were collaborating only within PayPal. It was happening because of the open source community outside and their ability to lean into problems and solve them in a rapid fashion. And that was the key, key uh, um, differentiator. Like our chief architect talked about, um, we are collaborating within the company. We're trying to figure out how to create services so you don't have to talk to each other. You can create capabilities and leverage and use those capabilities across the company. But we have an opportunity with all of you to do it outside as well. And that's why I'm really excited about this day today. Um, on the front end side, I mean, I presume a lot of you or a majority of you are front end engineers. You're trying to create uh, solutions for customers on the front end area, right? Today, the infrastructure is built up, I think, in the web in general. So the ability for you to change and to create applications which are meaningful for consumers and rapidly iterating is a lot faster than it was before. But guess what? It's changing again. With the cloud and mobile, it's going to change again and it's going to accelerate. And we need to find uh, ability for all of us to collaborate on how we can actually stay ahead of that change curve. So 
to do that, you know, I mean, collaboration is a key part of it. Open source is a huge opportunity for every engineer in the world, not only here, to actually help solve problems for us so we can figure out what customer problem we want to solve rapidly. Um, now, the challenge of being an enterprise company where you have millions of customers is it's great to innovate where you have five customers and you can innovate pretty rapidly. But when you have millions of customers coming to your site, some of these problems become real, right? What is the scale? How fast can I scale? What is the performance when I have you know, millions of customers using the product? What is the quality of it? I, I, I don't think I can introduce you know, all these challenges because customers will leave my product. And finally, predictability of releases, changes, fixes. And this is where I believe the collaboration can be immense across this, this community. We are very excited about Node. Node has come a long way over the last couple of years, but we still have a lot of challenges we need to work together to solve. So I'm encouraging all of us and all of you to help us work together to solve these challenges and be enterprise ready for our customers' sake. Um, the last thing I will say is, you know, Michele talked about innovation and uh, discovery. We are going to a model where um, we don't have two pizza teams. You guys have heard about two pizza teams and the concept of two pizza teams, which, uh, which Amazon has done a really good job of. We are now in one pizza teams. We have three people, an uh, engineer, a designer, and a product manager. And they are able to launch products in a matter of days and weeks. And they can only do that with technology like, like Node, which creates the ability to rapidly innovate rapidly change out front-end experiences. So it's gone, gone from the days of having two pizza teams spending six months, now we're talking about you know, three people making a difference for our, in our customer's life in a matter of days. So the key point I want to leave you with before I'm done today is technology is changing at a much more rapid clip than we can imagine. Our ability to collaborate with each other to create enterprise-level apps for our customer's sake is the difference between staying ahead of the curve or faltering. So thank you for coming here today. I hope you have a great day. Um, I know we are very excited to host all of you today and really figure out how we can collaborate with all of you to improve what Node can do for this world. Thanks all. Thank you guys.